Tell us, first of all, uh, about the book. Why did you write this particular one, America's History, 1215 to 1776? My understanding is it's in part pushing back on the 1619 Project. Yeah, it's, it's a solution to a problem. The problem is when you look at all the social studies books out there, they're not really teaching our past very well. We all know this quote. I'm sure you've all heard it. Those who don't learn from the past are doomed to repeat it, mm -hmm. right? The problem is that the social studies books that are being used in the classroom, they're not teaching kids to learn from the past. They're just teaching kids about the past. Here's the guns they use. Here's a letter this person wrote. Here's the date this happened. And it really disconnects kids from understanding the ideas, the philosophies, the values of history. And so what we've done in this new book is, yes, teach about early American history, but the ideas and the values that we can apply and learn from in our day today. That's awesome. Imagine a book, a curriculum, uh, that is not saying we hate America. That's yeah. actually saying America is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, do you have a question that you want to ask? Uh, and you can see I'm holding up the book so everybody can see it right there. Um, do you want to ask Connor a question? Well, I want to thank you for writing a book that will teach our children to love the country like I was taught when yeah. I was a child. And um, I think that you you should continue writing these books because uh, we're getting canceled all over the place. I mean, I grew up a patriot. We said Pledge of Allegiance in class. Mm -hmm. and. I loved everything about this country. Now these children, they're being taught to hate America for what we are. Yeah. Um, that's an interesting that, that's interesting because I feel like the 1619 project and critical race theory when you look at the people behind these projects and what their values are I believe what they're trying to do is not just attack the founding fathers and claim that they were all you know white supremacists and bigots and so forth mm. they're trying to attack the ideas that they stood for these are largely Marxist socialist type of people and so by attacking the founding fathers as racists and bigots and white supremacists it allows the public to more easily discard what they stood for for and what America was founded upon. And so for us, with this book, it's really a restoration of the classical liberal ideas, the you know property rights, free markets, and freedom that America was built upon that I think is under attack today. And so we think it needs a restoration, especially in our